Hi, y'all. Hi. <laughs> Good. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the marriage of Gary and Barb in holy matrimony. The bonding covenant of marriage was established by God in creation and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding, the wedding in Cana of Galilee signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church, and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy and for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was ordained by God. Into this holy union, Barb and Gary come now to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not be lawfully married, speak now or forever hold your peace. Is this where I glare at them? <laughs> you either glare at them or do this. <laughs> not a word. That's a good sign. <laughs> Before God in this congregation, I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter this covenant of marriage and to share all the joys and sorrows of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Gary, will you have Barb to be your wife and will you love her faithfully as long as you both shall live? Yes. Right answer. Barb, will you have Gary to be your husband and will you love him faithfully as long as you both shall live? I will. Very good. To share with you a word of scripture. Now, this was written by the Apostle Paul to the Colossians. Now, it has nothing, he wasn't writing about marriage. But I'll tell you, when you listen to what he said, there's a lot of good marriage advice. So I want you to listen to this. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if any has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which bind everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, into which you were indeed called into the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. See, I told you there's a lot of good relationship advice in here. So, let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, we ask that you bless Gary and Barb as they enter their lives, as they dedicate this new life, as they dedicate themselves to one another. That their love may continue to grow and be a true reflection of your love for us all. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, Barb, would you hand me your flowers? I'm, I'm just going to put them here. Because what I want you to do is I want you all to face one another. And I want you to join hands. And I want you to look as deeply as you can into one another's eyes. <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> That's deep. And I want you to remember this moment in time. You're about to make vows in the sight of God. And after you make those vows, everything changes. Because no longer are you going to be looking at the future in terms of me and mine, you and yours. It will always be us and ours. So Gary, looking into Barb's eyes, repeat after me. I, Gary, take you, Barb. I, Gary, take you, Barb. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love and to cherish. To love and cherish. Till death us do part. To Death, us do part. part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. There true, I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. Outstanding. And Barb, looking into Gary's eyes, repeat after me. I, Barb, take you, Gary. 
I Barb, take you, Gary. As my wedded husband. As my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. To death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And thereto I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. Good. Do you have rings? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. And Gary, would you place Barb's ring on the fourth finger of her left hand and repeat after me? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. Sign of my promise. She'll work on it. She'll get it on. <laughs> <laughs> and Barb, would you put Gary's ring on the fourth finger of his left hand and repeat after me? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. Good. Let's have a word of prayer. Eternal God, whose love is the source of everything that's good. We pray that the knowledge of your love will inspire this union which now has begun. Grant that Barb and Gary, who have dedicated themselves to one another in your name, grant that they may live in harmony and true companionship throughout their life together, seeking one another's welfare, bearing one another's burdens, and sharing one another's joys. Give them the resources to live without the fear of poverty, and grant them joy in their home. Father, Keep them true to the faith in which this marriage has begun, that they may always walk within the light and love of Christ, strengthened by the Spirit against all temptation. And when mortal life is over, bring them in your mercy to the joy of that life that shall have no ending. In the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Since you have pledged yourself together in the covenant of marriage and have made your declaration for, before God and these witnesses, I pronounce you to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no one separate. As God's own, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, and patience, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, and crown all these things with love, which bind everything together in perfect harmony. Amen. Gary. You may now kiss your wife. And turn. It is with great pleasure that I introduce for the very first time in human history, Bar uh, Gary and Barb Edwin. Edwards. And now free, feel free to throw money or anything else. <laughs> you want. <laughs> Money would be nice. <laughs>